movement was begun by a scientist who discovered, quite by accident, these signals being sent. Please understand, they are safe as long as they are not discovered. Look out for Charlie. I want him to I have been dealing with a severe level of interference on my power lines, on my PC, whatever's going on, trying to isolate it, figure it out. It is causing a lot of hum. You can hear that. It's an obnoxious hum. So uh, you can deal with it or you can uh, go away. I'm going to try to manually remove it. So if you don't hear it at all, that means I have magically gotten rid of it without damaging the audio quality too bad. It's not a hum that there is a preset for. You're going to need to put on your tracking helmet for this video. So <laughs> please take the time to do so now before we move forward as each subject I'm going to speak about is directly connected to the other. It's sort of working in a, an evil symbiosis. Back around uh, 2009 or 2010, I began speaking about the future of stars and influencers, stating that they would be purely digital, like uh, cartoon characters, they wouldn't age or change, and if they did, it would be up to the creator or the puppeteer what changes happened. You know, no drug bloat, no alcohol wrinkles, none of that. Anything that was changed would be purposeful and uh, and up to the creator or the puppet master and when I told people about this or d tried to discuss it they really couldn't grasp what I was actually getting at not realizing the extent that it could actually go to but now in 2023 I have the feeling that they can now grasp what I was getting at because it is now unfolding right in front of them right in front of them right now Deep fakes have been used for much longer than people think. Long before deep fake was a common word, they were being used to create illusions. And I know this for a fact. And how do I know this? Well, I stumbled on a video that suddenly and mysteriously surfaced back in uh, February of 2016 at just the right time, but years after the related event. And I started to really look at the video and something didn't seem right. The facial movements and everything about the video seemed wrong. And uh, I decided to find the best quality version that I could find and download it. And as I analyzed it and as I slowed it down, it became very apparent that the video was fraudulent, deep faked in modern terms. Now, many goons would have tried to come out of the woodwork and claim that that video was weird only due to like video compression artifacts or some crap like that right but an act of god happened and that act of god nullified the idea of video compression artifacts or whatever term they're using for excuses these days while the original video was being made before the face was deep faked into the video a man walks by and then walks directly at the camera in the same fashion as the deep faked character eventually does. And miraculously, none of this weirdness happens with the real person's face. No contortions, no glitching, etc. Proving without a doubt that this is indeed a deep fake video and the face was added afterwards. Unfortunately, on this platform, I cannot talk about this video. But what I can do is link to it in the pinned comment. And I will do that and you should watch it afterward because it is connected to a very very important event and I don't think enough people have seen this video I'm very surprised at how many people are unaware of this like that aren't realizing how available this is but there is deep fake technology now that simply consists of uh, someone sitting in front of a camera and talking, waving their arms around, or walking around, but what will be spit out onto the screen will be a completely different person. Like this, let's check this out. Here, you can see the puppet master operating these faces. Now there's a video of George Bush and somebody operating George Bush's face. I've got that somewhere on one of my hard drives. I can't find it right now. 
but it's the same thing. They sit on the side and talk and move their arms around and, and just be you, you know, just being you. And it will spit out somebody else. So what does this mean? This means that somebody can simply go to a website. Let's say that they go to this person does not exist. All right. For those of you who don't know, this person does not exist dot com will spit out a randomly generated face each time you go there. And the person, the face is not real at all. You can refresh it and you'll get another person. This person does not exist. And that's strange because it looks like uh, many YouTubers you may see. Many content creators, influencers, whatever you want to call them. It, it looks like one of them, right? So you can uh, generate a kid, a woman, uh, an adult man. Here's a, an Asian guy, an Asian woman. Here's a skinny white guy. You know, you got anything. These people do not exist and there is no copyright on the face. So what you can do is you can have this AI software. You're not stealing somebody's face because they don't exist. It studies the face and now this AI can be predictive. It can guess. It can guess what the person would look like a little sideways or whatever or completely sideways at a body, whatever, right? Here's another one. Now, what does this mean? What does it really mean? It means that a voice, let's say Steve Stockton's voice, whose voice used to be used in uh, Missing Persons Mysteries, can be coupled with an appropriate body or a, a, an appropriate envisioned body. You can click refresh until you find the right one. Well, who, what would Steve Stockton look like? You couple that and then you use it to make content and not just pre-recorded content with the ability to sit on the sidelines and direct an AI deepfake like a puppet master. You can do live streams, live events, talk to people in person, anything. A exactly like if you were using a voice changer or whatever. Something strange happened back in uh, I think 2021 or 2022. There's a channel that's been around for a long time that I have watched quite a bit. The channel is called Audit the Audit and he suddenly started another channel called John Lang. If you don't know who John Lang was, John Lang was the guy from uh, the San Francisco area or the Oakland area of California who blew the whistle on uh, police corruption there and then weird things began happening to him. Uh, things around his house, people driving by. He claimed that the cops were setting him up. And then he ended up stabbed and basically the house set on fire after he said that he was going to be killed. And uh, m mysteriously, they called it a suicide. You might want to look into the story of John Lang because it's a very interesting one. But that's a whole nother can of worms. What I'm getting at here is that Audit the Audit started a channel called John Lang and immediately did a face reveal. You know, this channel had been around for years and he claimed that he needed to put a name to the face but then instantly quit making content after a couple months. So he goes through and you can see him. Before I move on to the next topic, I would like to address a comment that was left on my previous video regarding this mask. It's very strange, the reasons for doing so. And this is when all these face reveals and strange things started coming up. All of them started popping up. Now let's go to, um, here's his other face reveal. And when I watch it and watch his arms and watch his face, it's not real. I do not believe this is real at all. And this is when it really began to happen. All over the web. In mass. Very strange. Very strange the way he's holding his hands. The entire thing. I'll turn the uh, volume down and play it a little bit. I do not believe this is real. His reasons for doing a face reveal are very strange. I went through the comments when it first came out. And a lot of people said, hey, your voice sounds weird, this sounds weird. I was looking for someone who would get it. And somebody 
finally said, LOL, nice, what software are you using? They nailed it, right? And right after that, that comment vanished. And that's a shame because I went to look for it again and went all the way through the comments and could not find it. But I do not believe this to be real. And this goes into something much larger because this is when it all began to happen. Now, should you be pointing the finger at every channel and calling every single channel out there a deep fake? <laughs> no, that in itself is as suspect as deep fakes themselves. People will do that, operators will do that. But what you should do is look at the time frame that they appeared and the message they are putting out. Is this tech being used for average brain rot entertainment? Sure, but let's consider narrative control. When did the channel appear? What year? Is it divisive? What is the message? And I have identified over 20 deepfake channels dealing with all sorts of different fringe subjects, including channels dealing with RF and ELF weapons. I recently did two obviously corny and very fake face reveals with other fairly famous or infamous faces as a joke. Mainly because I had been studying this and it had been on my mind. And this consisted of me muting the video, merely syncing my voice to the other voice live, like an old school style spoof. And it should have been pretty obvious that these were not really me. But after studying this for a very, very long time, it has become very, very apparent to me that entities out there began to get their hands on this technology in mass just after COVID. So 2020, 2021, 2022. Now, pay attention to these channels and anyone who just popped up or decided to do a serious face reveal after 2020 they should be seriously looked at and questioned. You should question it. It is more like they were testing to see how believable this stuff was rather than the reasons they have all came up with for suddenly wanting to do a quote-unquote face reveal when they had been around for years and years. So let's look at all the divisive and uh, seemingly insane trans videos out there. Are they even real? For real, are they are they even real? Or are they being put out there to jam the subject into people's minds and instigate division, anger, and infighting among people? Because these are not real. Check them out. A deep fake maps one person's face onto another person's body in a photo or video, almost imperceptibly. There's so isn't it strange that right when all these people in mass started to get their hands on this technology all of these videos from these trans influencers began to come out and they look identical to this kind of stuff it's like the the crazier they're making this stuff look the more people believe it it's madness i i'm really starting to uh question whether these are real or not that are just out there saying insane things you know, it's like they're um, culture jamming with it. Sure, these types of people do exist, but you need to question this kind of thing. And I have watched many videos that I don't believe to be real, or I don't believe the person to be real. Now, imagine creating a character like this. Really, ima imagine it. Put yourself there. Then imagine writing books in their name. Then imagine getting sponsors in their name, a PKA, professionally known as, right? <laughs> then imagine doing interviews in their name and face, and I could go on and on. I mean, these people could have addresses, they could have phone numbers, they could have everything. They could appear real. If I had the box for the technology, I could literally go to thispersondoesnotexist.com, get a photo, whatever I choose and become somebody else and start putting out whatever I want people to believe as that person. It is that simple. And with the way this AI is working, you only need one photo. And it can be anybody. And I really began to notice this right around COVID. And suddenly there were all these face reveals 
you know, 2020, 2021, 2022, something was going on. We were beyond bots. People really need to consider something else while I'm rolling through these fake faces. Now there are bots and deep fakes all over, all over these platforms. And if you disagree or feud with a deep fake or a bot or another unalive entity, you can be kicked off a platform for bullying something that doesn't even exist. Now seriously think about that. In these cases, as Netanyahu said, cyber is power. If you fight with something that doesn't exist, you can be kicked off from bullying them because as far as the internet is concerned, that's a real human being. That's alarming. Now keep tracking here. Keep tracking with me here because it is all connected. After COVID, after what happened, the information that has come out about the jabby jabs and all that, people's attitudes towards what I've been talking about for many years and uh, Voice of God weapons and all of this stuff has really changed. It really has. I don't care what they're trying to convince you of, that no one will listen, that people don't understand. People are understanding more and more, and you hear people bring it up all the time. When people are joking about it, you know, yeah, I bet he was MK Ultra. When you're talking about an event that happened and somebody just brings it up at the post office in line, you know the attitudes are changing. This influencer and this narrative control and these deep fakes are going to tie in to what is going to happen. And I'm going to make this prediction because this is beginning to get at critical mass. Not in the way I would like yet, but people are starting to understand it and they're starting to become receptive to it. When before it was just too far out for them to handle, but baby steps. And this is what I try to get people to understand. Baby steps are so important. You can't just come out and say everything. You know, it's too mind blowing. Baby steps, man. So these people are gonna be forced to start talking about it and they have been. So what are they doing? They're creating influencers. When they're forced to talk about this or when they have to talk about it due to mass awareness, they are going to end up propping up some false expert. And this expert will mix a little bit of truth with a whole lot of lies. And I can tell you this because of my fascination with online operators. I have been watching their tactics for years, decades now. And many people out there will tell you not to pay attention to these uh, quote unquote trolls. But I think that is totally foolish and I think that it is important to pay attention to them for many reasons. I have kept my thumb on the pulse of these operators, watching their tactics carefully, watching the tactics evolve and change on all matter of subjects. And when tactics of subversion change, when they have to abruptly change their tactics, it is usually because of awareness, critical mass or mass awareness gaining acceptance and understanding and this is why i can predict that they are going to prop up this radio frequency jesus because i have watched their tactics completely evolve and change and let me give you a couple examples of this keep your tracking helmet on now remember i am leaving a lot of the detailed tactics out of this probably 90 percent this is just a simple timeline of the angle they are using all right, so first, way back, way back, for any subject, you had uh, operators claiming it was all stupid. It was very juvenile, the way they would do it. It was like a snotty 14-year-old. They would post bomb on the channel, just something ridiculous, like, this is so stupid. You know, and then after a while, that evolved into, you are so stupid. This makes no sense. You just wasted 15 minutes of my time. It was just juvenile bashing all the time. But after a while, this evolved. And on my channel, it evolved from these stupid bashing comments to 
you are making insane people more insane or even going as far as pretending to be family members who are angry because their insane relative has been driven more insane due to the information that I put out. This is classic operator bullshit. But none of this was working or gaining traction. None of it. So in the last year or so, they have changed methods completely because uh, my subscriber count has grown since uh, people are listening and since they don't have a real argument anymore, they have decided to come as friends. This is a last ditch effort to control a narrative that you have no control over anymore. But as they write their friendly and supportive comment on the channel, they will pepper in false or misleading information in an attempt to skew the message to anyone who hasn't studied my information and my research and my evidence. So let me give you an example of these new ally comments. So a comment will show up that says, you are spot on with all these weapons. I want to thank you for spending all these years bringing this to light. This gang stalking program has to stop. When my neighbors started doing this to me, I thought I was going insane. Your information has allowed me to understand what was really going on. This is a very simple, short, and average appearing comment. But what was done here? What is wrong with this subversive comment? Let's break it down. First, they state I am correct about weaponized RF and ELF being used. After this, they imply that they have spent years listening to my videos by stating all these years bringing this to light. Now here is where the subversion comes in. After creating the impression that they have been absorbing my information for many years, they inject the word gang stalking. Well, what's wrong with that? First off, gang stalking is not weaponized RF and ELF. It has nothing to do with gang stalking. Gang stalking is an old Bolshevik slash Stasi tactic of overtly following somebody in a very obvious way to make them paranoid and to ruin the quality of someone's life. So when people blur the lines between RF weapons and gang stalking, it sounds completely insane to someone who is trying to understand it. And these people know this. So they promote this idea and they love to blend both of these things together. You always have to look at this as an outside observer when explaining these weapons to anyone. Anyone who watches my videos knows that I am totally against blending all this together. So it is impossible for someone to hold this belief and also agree that I am spot on with these weapons. But what's going on here? They want the unseasoned viewer to see this comment and believe that this is the message that I am putting out. In the very next sentence, they state, when my neighbors started doing this to me, I thought I was going insane. Absolutely no one can take the time to understand the information I put out and also believe that their neighbors are operating these weapons. This is another total impossibility. I have stated hundreds of times that for more than a decade, I have documented this signal everywhere. Like a network broadcast, I have found it in caves underwater. I have documented it in impossibly high places in the air, seeping into videos made by fighter pilots underground, the same voices saying the same typical things. I have also stated hundreds of times that it is impossible that your neighbor is doing this. People who believe this sort of thing sometimes end up doing really insane things in an attempt to get the torment to stop. They're tormented 24 seven with these signals and when they seek revenge or attempt to get this to stop, they go after their neighbor, a business, a family member, an ex, or whoever they've been tricked into believing is doing this to them. And when that happens, they become a mental health statistic and they're paraded around in the media. And this fools the average person into believing that this is common and can happen in nature when it does not. Now, if they used a firearm during this artificial delusion, that is used to implement stricter gun laws, pre-crime policing, and the mental health Gestapo. 
And guess what? That is one of the reasons why these weapons are being used. So of course, an operator is hoping someone who stumbled on one of my videos is going to take away the idea that quote unquote neighbors are doing it or that people believe that neighbors, family members, or people on the street are doing it. It's narrative control. Such a simple, short comment can hold so much subversion, it's crazy. The person reading immediately visualizes someone holding something that looks like a parabolic microphone, following the person around everywhere they go. And they know this is an impossibility, so they walk away with the idea that this is the narrative that I am promoting. When anyone who has watched my videos over the years knows that I stand completely and firmly against this, again, another impossibility to state that I am quote unquote spot on with these weapons and also inject these ideas. You cannot agree with my data, my research, and my evidence and also agree that someone you know is operating it. It's an impossibility. Now, the last part of the comment is the affirmation, an attempt to convince the viewer that these are the ideas that I am promoting, stating that your information has allowed me to understand what was really going on. This is an attempt to cement the idea that I have said these things. So let me clearly and boldly state that I do not promote any of these ideas. Gang stalking has nothing to do with RF slash ELF weapons, even if the person claims to experience both. Neighbors, family members, friends, or people on the street are not following people around with devices. It is 2023, not 1957. You can download uh, data or an image from a basement in the middle of Kansas. Uh, this is completely unnecessary, but it's purposely injected. So, uh, Listeners and viewers cannot accept my data and also accept these contradictory ideas at the same time. It is completely impossible. So what does this all mean? I have watched the very aggressive and condescending comments dry up over the past couple of years. Very rarely do they come right out and shit talk anymore. But that doesn't mean they have stopped. Rather, the operator comments have increased but they are taking a more manipulative and creepy approach to trying to tackle my information. Now, what does this tell me, all of it? It tells me that the information, the evidence, and the data that I've put out over the years, coupled with the details of COVID and post-2020 happenings, have allowed people to understand and accept what I've been talking about all this time. So showing up and posting, uh, this is crazy. They don't have this kind of technology. It doesn't work anymore. It is weak and ineffective, and it's a big red flag. So in the last days of 2023, their only real option is to snuggle in and attempt to subvert the information. With that said, we are getting closer and closer to some type of strange admission, all right? But you will not see or hear any actual admitting things. Some fake whistleblower will suddenly be propped up in the media, getting interviews with large television networks and video channels, and they will tell you partial truth mixed with lots and lots and lots of bullshit. You know, you can look at a lot of these operators online that are supposed to go out and post propaganda. You can find information about this and they will tell the operators online, given keywords to post, ideas, who to blame, who to go after, and they have to follow these directives verbatim. So when you have watched them closely for so many years, you can read the climate of what they are thinking from the top down. And this is the climate right now. So when you have this post-COVID deepfake technology everywhere operating, along with the need to subvert lots of different information, not just mine, but there's a lot of information out there that needs to be subverted, you are going to see these people popping up, popping up like mushrooms. You can tell what they are thinking from the top down by what they are telling these people to post. And when they are friending up to you and trying to subvert the info, 
they are losing the war. And that's just a fact. And that is exactly what they are doing now. Now, whether they use purely deep fake or an actual person, it would be much easier to use a deep fake that they can have do live interviews. And this radio frequency Jesus is going to have all the answers for people and all the answers are going to be wrong or misleading in some way or another. And that is coming. It could be happening right now. You know, you see these people that pop up, right? And they have no real background, no history in this. And suddenly they're getting interviews with these huge channels. You know, you, you have to wonder, what are they doing? Why are they doing it? Who are they doing it for? What is the, uh, the qui bono? Qui bono? Who benefits? One of the main purposes of this surveillance system is learning communication, normal communication between people to mimic it. So this is all intertwined together. All of it is intertwined and it is going to be implemented to take down information, to subvert information. Now, understanding what is happening out there can help us solve a lot of mysteries that just happened within the last few months. I want you to watch this again. Now watch how the mouth moves when this guy moves his head around. Pay attention to all three heads moving their mouths at the same time. See how they're, it's one puppet master. They are all moving in unison, the deep fakes. It's a live deep fake. Now, pay attention to that. It's very important. Recently, three months ago, I put out a video called High Strangeness in Investigative Journalism, where this guy was trying to report on what was going on in Maui. And this guy came out at like 5.30 in the morning, allegedly, and began to bother and harass him. But there was something weird about the video. There were some audio anomalies. And then this happens where the Nick guy says, um, but his mouth moves with him in unison. It's very strange. And he could not see him to read his lips. Watch this. This is the part where Nick stops and he says, um, and when he does, he's the one saying it. It is Nick that says, um. But the overly disguised operative behind him mouths um at the exact same time, and he can't see him. This is really weird. Check this out. Um, right there. We're supposed to be. Uh, now that was Nick saying that. Um. 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 What? What's going on here? After watching this and after releasing this video, it is quite possible that this video is not real and the software fucked up and while it was puppeteering his mouth did the um to at the same time I can't say that for certain but it really lends itself to that because the entire thing is very strange there are all kinds of uh, high strangeness incidents throughout this whole video and when you go back and watch the puppet master move all of their mouths at the same time and you see this happen in this video it is more like a software fuck up um right there we're supposed to be uh, now that was nick saying that. um um both the mouths do that i'm telling you we have to start questioning everything that is out there like this what is the purpose what is the message what is going on because they're going for all the marbles. They have been going for all the marbles since 9-11. 9-11 was for all the marbles. But there is a war going on culturally. They are going to try to win this with AI and deep fakes. And as far as RF and ELF weapons go, we are gaining traction. And I can tell that by having my thumb on the pulse of operators. That's why it's important. Like I said, a lot of people say, don't pay attention to the, to the trolls. No, paying attention is very, very important. 
it's not only fascinating, but it's important because you can tell what they are thinking from the top down. That's why you should pay attention. And something is going on. And we are going to see who they try to prop up as this radio frequency Jesus soon. If it's not already happening. And now, the easiest thing to do is to create a deep fake because it's so easy. You go to a, a website or your own software like this person does not exist. You pump out a face, the computer studies it, you already have a model. Then let's say you're going after my information, for example. You take my information, bits and parts of it, and you mix that information with ascension. You mix it with a hocus pocus. You mix it with the paranormal. You mix it with subversion, with pseudoscience, with bullshit. Whatever channel they create will get promoted like a motherfucker. You will see it exploding. And it will take all this information, put it in a blender, and fill it full of horseshit. It will be paranormal. It will be ascension. It will be all the bullshit. And you will see it massively gaining subscribers. All of this is tied in together. And it's not just my information. Like I said, this is going to be all kinds of different uh, subjects that they need to tackle. These deep fakes already exist. So what do you do with these subjects that you want to tackle? How do you tackle them? How do you deal with a, a subject like RF or ELF weapons when somebody has uh, evidence, when the, uh, things are being SWAT ratted, when you have recordings of the voices that people are hearing that are physical evidence? How do you attack that? How do you counter that? You bring in radio frequency Jesus. So that's it for now. Look out for Charlie. Come on, do Nazi stuff. Look out for Charlie.